Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem of 6 7 from RC Hikaler Engineering Statics Vault Edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the force in members BC, CF, and FE and state if the members are in tension or compression. Now, to solve this problem, we will use the method of sections. So, if I make a section right here, and if we only consider the right hand side of the section and I draw it separately then it would look something like this. So this is the right hand side of the truss across the section. Now on these truss members which have been sectioned we have to consider the internal forces. So we have a force in this member assuming it as a tensile force. We have a force into this member considering it as tensile as well and we also have a force into this member let's consider it as a compressive force let's label them so this right here is force f f e this is the force c f and this is the force b c now we have to resolve this force into its components so we have a vertical component and the horizontal component. Let's label them. Let's consider that this angle is theta. So the vertical component becomes FCF sine theta and the horizontal component is FCF cos theta. So this is our free body diagram. Now before moving towards the equations of equilibrium, let's find this angle theta. So for theta, we can consider this triangle, triangle BCF, this triangle actually. So consider triangle BCF. Now using the trigonometric ratios we have tan theta is equals to opposite which is 4 divided by the adjacent which is also 4. So from here angle theta comes out to be 45 degrees. So now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. So my first equation is summation of moments at point C equals to 0. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. Now I want you to analyze that the line of action of force FBC, 600 LB force, the horizontal and the vertical components of FCF force, they all are passing through the point C. So these four forces do not have any momentum with respect to the point C. So these four forces will not produce any moment about point C. The force in the member FE is trying to rotate the truss in counterclockwise direction about the point C, so the moment produced by this Fe force will be taken as positive. F, Fe, and the moment arm is this 4 feet distance. This 800 LB force is trying to rotate the section of this truss in clockwise direction about the point C, so the moment produced by this 800 LB force will be taken as negative. So negative 800 and the moment arm is also forfeit equals to 0. So the force in the member Fe comes out to be 800 Albies. And since we are getting a positive answer and earlier we had assumed the member Fe to be in tension. So in fact the member Fe is in tension and this is a tensile force. So this is our first answer. Now for the force in the member Cf. 
we can do summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have FCF sine theta and theta is 45 degrees. So FCF sine 45 degrees minus 600 LP force minus 800 LP force equals to 0. So from here, the force in the member CF comes out to be 1979.9 Alves. And since again we are getting a positive answer, and earlier we had assumed the force in the member CF to be a tensile force, so in fact the member CF is in tension, and this is a tensile force. So this is our second answer. Now we have to find the force in the member BC. So we can do for the force in the member BC, we can do summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have FBC minus the force in the member Fe minus Fcf cos theta and theta is 45 degrees equals to 0. So if we substitute the known values, we would have Fbc minus the force in the member Fe which is 800 Lbs minus the force in the member Cf. So 1979.9 into cos 45 degrees equals to 0. So the force in the member BC comes out to be 2200 Lbs. And since we are getting a positive answer, and earlier we had assumed the force in the member BC to be a compressive force. So in fact the member BC is in compression and this is a compressive force. So this is our third answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts in the free body diagram, or in the equations of equilibrium then feel free to ask in the comment section and i will try to answer them as soon as possible thank you